Hey there, welcome to day 2198 of What You Have to Know. Sharon Horn Olson here. I share my journey every day on this little podcast to talk about things I'm thinking about, what's going on, what's working, what's not working. Originally, as I transitioned from the brick and mortar corporate world of business, I worked in corporate America while simultaneously owning and operating my own business in dozens of different industries, actually over two dozen different industries. And Learned a lot, learned a lot along the way. Uh, did businesses with some really bad business partners, which were bad lessons learned, but they helped me to become more aware and smarter about who I worked with and, and relationships and things, both business and non-business. Uh, I think, that unfortunately, some things I, and some lessons I've just had to learn the hard way. Uh, some things we can learn from other people, which is always fastest, easiest, and a shortcut. Uh, and other things, we just seem to have to experience them for ourselves. It's like we all seem to have to get our own heart broken. We all have to figure out what feels right for us, etc. So today we're talking about in the Let's Grow Annual Challenge, our relationship core values. We're focusing on relationships this month and uh, different topics along the line of relationship growth. How do we grow in the area of our relationships and make that automatic? So we're going through our process. We'll go through our process probably toward the end of the month. We're going to hop into the SOAP framework later this next week, early this next week, not later, early this next week. I forget what day we're on, but today we are talking about what are your core values when it comes to relationships. And for Supersize Your Business, which is my business group, primarily for business women, but we have a lot of men in there too, I guess. So, not I guess, we do have. So, we're talking about uh, how can you bring different streams of income and new streams of income into your business? How can you find new revenue sources? And that, of course, extends to our life. I was fortunate enough to learn from a, a really smart father, a really smart dad, who taught me about, by demonstrating, he didn't, he didn't say you should do this. All of my sisters and I have gone different paths in our life, but I took the same path that my dad did. I worked in corporate America, I went to college, got my engineering degree, worked in corporate America for over a quarter century, while simultaneously, building, owning, operating, buying, selling different businesses in different industries. And I learned a lot and I had a lot of advantages because of my different perspective, being a business owner in corporate America and being an employee in corporate America gave me different perspective as I was building and owning and operating and buying and selling different businesses in different industries. So I kind of had the best of both worlds. Plus it gave me a sense of security knowing that if one thing didn't work out, I always had the other thing to make sure that the kids were eating and had clothes and were in school, etc. And, you know, we could make our car payments and our house payments. So uh, there's so many advantages to having more than one source of income. And if, if the pandemic didn't show the world that, I don't know what did. And nowadays with the internet, it's so much easier than it was when I was actually doing it in the physical world because it's so much easier to test things, to start things, to find out what works and what doesn't work uh, on the internet. It's such a lower uh, barrier to entry than anything in our history. So talk about that, talk about four different ways to go about doing that and bringing new streams of income into your business, which means you could also bring them into your life, right? All right, that's all I've got today. Uh, Friday here in the USA, Wisconsin. We are having the weirdest winter where I live. It's been so mellow. I think it's going to be in the 40s again today. So uh, I want to get out and celebrate that. Everybody's over COVID, so we can have a birthday celebration for my youngest sister tonight. Uh, if I can help you anyway, please ask. That's what I'm here for. Otherwise, have an awesome day, awesome weekend, but I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow.